Often rebound. Holding Melbourne. Brooks got tangled there, and it'll be Max Gorn. Exactly how you want it. Your best player with a heavy reliance on his shoulders. He's Kick that a mile, Max Gorn. <laughs> well, that's fresh legs. That is fresh legs. He's kicked that from 60. He's going to have to step up in the absence. Good little clever handball. And the Blues go inside 50 for the first time. Mackay <laughs> takes a difficult mark, falling to ground. And Boyd shuffled off the mark, so it's going to be a 50 metre penalty and will get Chandler within range. Normally pretty reliable in front of the big sticks. And he kicks the D second. And the two deepest were Laurie and Pickett. So he has to wait for the tools, oh. and it was a beautiful kick. Wow. That was intentional. Find Shacky. That was Elijah Hollands. And the kick to the top of the square. Kerno. Second bite. Made it look easy. And a wonderful debut season. And he quickly tries to switch to the open side. Oh. Akers just dropped it cold, and this will gift the Demons their fourth goal of the first turn. Can they sneak one here with the last 25 seconds? And that's nice bit of connection as well from Billings. That's why I think they brought him to the club. He's kicked 16 goals from 45 shots. Chincotta this yeah. time. And again, that's better, and they find Cunningham. Already such an integral member of this team. Turnover. Blues are away here. Fogarty saw grass inside 50. Kicks to space. Who's got the leg speed? Kerno. Mackay. And that's nice and easy to be Harry. He's got his second. And they're right back into this contest. Makes a much better footy. They lifted their pressure, although Melbourne do it nicely on this occasion. Here's Windsor again. The run and dash. Can the youngster finish? Oh, well done, young man. He looks up and sees Lewis Young playing in front of Fitch, and it didn't matter. Fitch just used him as a stepladder. So he's got the run and jump, and Young's got to sit under the footy. Max Gorn has just charged inside 50 to the top of the square. He wanted to fly, instead it was Sparrow. The unlikely mark. Ronnie looks up, has a couple of tools deep, Shaki and Van Royen, who nudged Kemp under the footy. Umpire said he did it legally. Two hands in the middle of the back. Well, Melbourne onto it. This time, Rivers spun out of trouble and darts a bullet and finds Cozzy Pickett, who's within range. Wheels out, just opens oh. up the angle and then strikes that one beautifully for another one for Melbourne. And the goals are starting to flow now. Pickett twists and turns, gets himself out of trouble. Salem will find a target. He does. Billings. Just the three games last season fell out of favour under Ross Lyon. He gets a chance at a new home and he's impressing early. Tries to grab it out of the ruck. Did a pretty good job of it. Got the boot yeah. to ball and then in the end, Kerno in front. I like the idea. And they're going to try and get some run here. There's Windsor and his speed. This time using it defensively. And again, Melbourne organised. Kerno. Tried to squeeze one into the corridor. Hewitt, here's a chance for Akers. Out on the wing, snap around the body, finishes. Cripps again, another clearance. Well, this one didn't quite work out, and Gaunt with the underground handball. Petrarca found Viney. Here's Windsor's speed again. Oh. Can he steady and finish? Oh. oh, he's showing a bit, this youngster. He'll be playing in opening round. Now they get some run from the back. And there's what you want to see in the hands of Doherty to De Koning, who wheels and gets it in deep. And that's how you move the ball from the back half. Saad came forward, got the smother in. Here's Sparrow. Takes his time. And in the end, just popped it in a little pocket of space and finds Shaki. It's only just the 15. Yeah, he's not bothering the Ds at all if they chip it around like this. Oh. They're going to force the turnover. They pounce Melbourne. They sweat on anything that's slightly off and they make you pay. And it's Tom Sparrow. There's Mackay again. 
Another little clever tap from Fogarty. Fantasia, oh. and there is Charlie Curno. He's got his third. Get it at ground level. Flicks it up. Cottrell has Cripps running if he can get it to him. He does. Can Cripps finish? That's better. Now, grabbed it out, but didn't get good purchase. Sparrow, again, shown that step. And with a bit of composure and class, kicks his third for the night. Too much notice of results and these sorts of things. Joey, with all due respect, I think uh, it's a completely different game when it kicks off next week. Yeah, so for Melbourne, it's not about the win, it's about the way they went about it. And they played some really strong footy, some new faces and some youngsters had influence.